Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today it's just going to be a uh, simple quick video on tents and a few high CRI tents that I have. Um, I've built quite a few new lights lately. Um, new? Maybe old. Maybe upgraded is a better word. Well, some of them are built from scratch, some of them are just upgraded, some of them are different altogether. So I figured um, we'll do a video on um, high CRI tints and non-high CRI tints and neutral white tints. Does that even make sense? Yes, high CRI tints, yes. Um, so basically, what I've got in a S2 Plus now, which is, I guess you could call a mule, um, is standard setup. It's a um, Nishia 219C which is 4000k tint 92 plus CRI so it's above 92 CRI um, puts out about 800 lumens so not overly bright but um, you kind of expect like the light not to be as bright once it goes high CRI because you do lose a lot of output I'm running a stock named 3 amp, 3 amp driver um, it is actually on a direct thermal path copper board so I could push more power through this if I wanted to but I kind of wanted it as a mule as an everyday sort of light I've got a standard 3500 milliamp hour battery in here, uh, NCR 18650 b so that's good. Um, I'd have to look back because it's a bit late here now. I want to do this on the other side of the yard, but this is the only place that has a bit of light. Um, next up, we have this light that I built. Uh, what's this thing called? The Ultrafire WF502B. Actually, not bad host. I wanted to do a review on this for um, my cheap host test. And it's not actually bad overall. SMO reflector. Um, and inside this, I even put a lit towel cap on the back. How good is that? Uh, and inside this, I have got a uh, Cree XML T4 5D, according to Fast Tech. So I went on, um, I went on what's it called? On Fast Tech, and I went on through Cree's website. I couldn't find the 5D Bini. So I think it might be a Z5. So 5Z. Um, so XML T4, so it's a 4000K tint, um, it's about 80 plus CRI, um, Cree rates it at, so it's at least 80 CRI, should be good for a little bit more lubins than the um, Nishia, but it's hard to fully expect more lumens when um, basically it's an older LED, so it's like a T6 style, kind of looks like the original XMLs, you can see it there. It's got no AR coat of glass, nothing to muck, to muck with the tint. Um, this does actually have AR coat of glass, so I don't know if that plays with the tint. That's something that we can actually check out ourselves, I guess. Um, so it could be a Z5 or it could be a 5D. It is definitely a T4. So the T4s are 80 plus CRI from what I could tell. Um, and then I brought out a few other lights just to compare them to. I'll go grab them and I'll show you guys what we'll be doing. <laughs> oh, wow, that's weird. Oh yeah, because one's camera and one's video. I'm still trying to work out this phone, and they sent me the wrong version, so now this has got to go back overseas or wherever their warehouse is, and then they're going to send me out a new one, but then they want extra money, because this is like an AT&T version, and um, unfortunately it's unlocked, but I can't get it to work on a network. So right now I'm recording on this, but there's no actual uh, network. I've only got Wi-Fi, so I told them, and then they're going to send me another one something I don't know. Um, next up we got the Sofern SP32 or Sofern whatever it's called. Um, basically this has got a uh, Cree XBL 5350K to 5700K tint. Um, it could be high CRI. Um, I'm not sure because I don't write the bidding I can't tell but most likely it's probably not but it does have a neutral white tint so this one is definitely going to get thrown in the mix. Um, and last but not least is a Blitzwolf BWET1 um, which it has a standard Cree XPL, so the original uh, V6, so we know the bidding on this one, and it's a 5000K tint. Uh, nothing special there, it's only 70 CRI, or 70 plus CRI, um, so it's going to be neutral white, but non-CRI. So basically, we'll put all these tints together. I do have one very warm white tint I might throw in on my BOLF A6. Um, I might throw that in and we'll put all these together and we'll see uh, which one we like the best. I really like the uh, tint on the XML2. It's it's a mad tint. It's a very good tint, but it is kind of a very inefficient light. So you'll find that with the high CRIs, the more colouring 
the color the higher the color rendering index is uh, the more power that it's going to use and drain just in like normal every everyday use and plus you know you lose output so you could get like a normal standard 70 plus CRI uh, initiate and you should still get a thousand lumens maybe even over a thousand lumens uh, running a 3 amp driver so yeah uh, we'll come back out when it's dark and uh, we'll see how this camera does compared to my old one all right guys so first up we've got the um, king of kings the nishia 219c in the 4000k tint um 92 plus cri so this is the uh, s2 that i showed you guys last time so i did move the uh tonka truck there and the uh chair so you could have a little bit of um definition so you can see the lights and how they work it's a little bit hard like to tell the difference on just the grass um, we'll cycle modes so right now this is lowest mode so you can see output isn't amazing Oop, turn it off that's medium mode and that's high mode so high mode still does light up the whole backyard as you guys can see I'm not sure how well it work on this camera but um it does do a pretty good job it's good enough I guess you're looking like maybe just 800 lumens 7 to 800 lumens so it's not amazing But um, being 92 plus CRI, you know you don't expect crazy output. Um, I do have this emitter in a triple setup, which is what is meant to go in this light. So eventually I'll end up putting in the uh, triple board. But for now, I just wanted to see how the tint works out, and I quite like it. Um, next up we'll do the um, XML T4 Z5, I think it is the um, 80 CRI 4000K tint. Um, and um, then we will compare those two side by side and see how they are So we'll turn that off. Look at how bright this uh, towel, towel cap is Whoop, I think this lights on Look at how bright that that towel cap is All right, so this is the um, XML here uh, You can see the beam pattern is a little bit wider um, because the um, this is using a larger SMO reflector, but the actual LED die is bigger too So that's the other thing the uh, Nishia is pretty much a 35 35 um, LED size and uh, this XML is a standard 50 by 50 or 50 50 footprint I should say So we'll cycle modes um, Both using a standard names driver. So this is lowest mode output is pretty similar between the two That's medium mode And that's high mode. Um, I think this light is a little bit brighter, I would say. Um, you know what? I can't really tell the difference between like the color rendering between both lights. Um, you can tell the difference between the tints, I think. I think the Nishia does have a little bit different tint to the Cree. I kind of prefer this um, T4 Z5 myself better than the uh, Nishia, but the Nishia is 92 CRI. So we'll go side by side. Actually, it's pretty similar, eh? That's the Nishia there, and this is the XML here. It's pretty hard to tell. So, hmm. Well, to me, it does kind of seem like that the um, XML is a little bit warmer than the Nishia, but I'm not 100% sure. XML here and uh, Nishia here. Hmm, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty close. Um, next up, we'll put on the um, XPL2, and we'll see how that how that does. All right, guys, I've um, got the um, XPL2 on. Um, it's a Sofer and SP32 that I showed you guys before. Um, this will definitely be the brightest. You can see it's a lot brighter than the rest. Um, the tint, I actually checked the tint on this light. The tint is between. I wrote it down. It's an XPL2 neutral white. Um, neutral white tint, so 53.50 to about 5700K. Um, it could be high CRI, but I doubt it. It's probably only 70 CRI, just in a neutral white tint. Because um, it isn't high CRI, I kind of feel that these beams offer the best between um, output and um, 
in color definition I guess so if you guys are looking at it through the camera you know you can see the yellow is still quite good and the um, blue is still pretty decent too while putting out quite a lot of light Hmm. Um, next up, after this, I've only got one more light, but then I'll show you guys a cold white too. Is a Blitzwolf VWET1, which is the XBL V6 in 5000K tint. That's definitely only a 70 CRI. So we've got to turn on the ramping mode. Let's ramp it up. That's not even ramping. Can you guys see that ramping? Um, this isn't going to be as bright, so you've got to keep that in mind too. So this is the Blitzwolf on with the um, Cree XBL uh, V6 in the neutral white tint. Um, it's a bit hard to compare to the others because it's not quite as bright. Output wise, it should be just as good as the XBL2, if not even better, because this is a top bin, being a V6. Um, to the uh, chair and the uh, Tonka truck um, I still think it's got really good color I think the only, only reason why it looks a little bit darker is probably because the overall output is down a little bit so say if we leave this tin on and we compare it to the Nishia I'll go grab the Nishia oh, wrong one. so I'll leave the um, XBL on to the left and that's the Nishia to the right so you can see the Nishia is definitely warmer and it does have a rosier tint the um, the um, XBL does look a little bit harsher let's actually compare the Sofren side by side uh, with the uh, Nishia so I'll move the Nishia now to the right hand side uh, sorry left hand side that's left hand side it's because I'm upside down in Australia Okay, so that's the uh, Sofren there, and that's the uh, S2 Plus with the Nishia. So you can see that the um, S2 Plus, sorry, that the uh, SP32, sorry guys, the SP32 is a uh, neutral white. It is a lot, lot brighter. Look at that. Both on high mode. It is a lot, lot brighter, but then you can see it does still wash out the chair and the truck a little bit more than what the um, Nishia does. So the Nishia does have a nice gold, kind of gold, red, rosy, rosy tint, which is pretty cool. Um, next up, I'll show you guys just a standard um, cold white tint, and we'll see the difference. All right, guys, I'm kind of cheating here, but I'm kind of not. I chose a um, S2 Plus, but the S2 Plus with the um, SMO reflector, the clear one, and the um, XBO HI. So, the XBL HY is a pretty cold white tint in a cold white variant, so that'll be a pretty good indication of um, what a harsh cold white tint does. It's not the harshest because you can get a lot bluer, but it is fairly white. Little cycle modes, that's highest mode there. You can see even output, even though this is an XBL HY, so output isn't the best at stock currents. It's still a lot more than what the uh, Nishia can do, or even the um, or even the XML. So we'll put the S2 Plus with the Nishia on here. I'll just cycle mode just to make sure. So that's highest mode, and this is the standard S2 Plus with the um, cold white tint. So we'll go across here. So you can check out those colors there. And we'll go back with the cold white tint. So yeah, you can see, obviously there's going to be a massive difference now. But I just figured I'd bring it outside to show you guys. So yeah, so um, these Nishis are pretty much rated as the um, king of uh, tints. If you're into into high CRI tints, you're pretty much going to have a few of these around. Uh, and for a good reason too. I do quite like the overall tint, but I personally, I think I prefer the um, XML. But this is quite nice, and it does have really good CRI, and you know, you can really tell the definition 
on that truck even if we go over to the bin here you can distinguish all the different colors very well even to the tree even at a distance so yeah this has been a little bit of a different video guys but i thought it'd be pretty interesting to uh, bring it to you um and just check out the different tints you know there are a lot of other options out there i do have one more white tints that are about 3000 k but they probably will be too warm for most people's uh, likes. Uh, anyways, guys, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear bringing you um, different tints. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope the camera is okay because we'll be stuck with this one for a while. As always, um, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.